Welcome back to our Inventor Series. Again, we're uh, showing you different techniques and some of the tools involved in our use of Inventor. Uh, right now, we're going to show you how to do a manual explosion to create the lines to make sure everything lines up create correctly when making an exploded view of a drawing. We're going to use our wheel assembly again. So I'm going to simply pick on the standard IPMs of the presentation file. Pick OK. Now it's going to ask me to locate the parts when I go create view. So I'm going to create the view here. And I'm going to leave it on manual. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to find the file I want. Well, in this case, it's going to be my caster assembly. Now, once I've clicked on it, I can go open. And it's going to bring it in and it's going to take a few minutes to process that. So now, like I said, we're doing it manually. Select to the view. Options. I can um, put the associate on, master representation, all those things. I'm going to leave them as default for right now, what the program does automatically. And we're simply going to go OK and drop the parts in. Now, what I need to do is I need to tweak this assembly. So I'm going to rotate my stuff around a little bit so I can get things lined up where I want. So first off, I'm going to start by taking this top plate and just lifting it straight off. So I'm going to go tweak components. I'm going to pick on this top plate. Now I want to move, if you notice, on my Z axis. Well, I will click on the Z right there. As I click that and lift, I'm creating I'm creating the movement. I'm moving the part away. So that's good. Now, once I've got it there, um, I can put the trail origin on or I can leave it alone. In this case, I want to mark the trail origin as being right. Well, let's leave it alone, actually. So once I've done that, I'm going to go clear that. Now, the next part I want to do is I want to move the supports left and right. I'm going to leave the wheel pretty much dead center. So I'm going to click on this wheel right here. Okay. And I'm actually let's make sure I cleared that first. Now I'm going to select this part right here. Again, it's on my Z axis. I'm going to click on him and I'm going to slide him straight out here to my left. So he's in a nice situation here. Once I've got him in the right spot, I'm going to clear that. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to move the bushing this time. Well, the bushing. Again, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click in direction. So I just click on him and move him on the Z axis as well. I him straight out here to the left. Now I'm going to flip my part around and repeat this process on the other side. So before I do anything, I'm going to clear it. I'm going to select my component. I'm going to make sure I'm on the right axis. Again, it's a Z right now, so I'm going to slide him straight out here. Okay, and then I'm going to go clear that, and I'm going to do the same thing with this component. Again, it's on the Z axis. Click, drag it straight out, and go clear so he's in the right spot now the last thing I have to do is move the axle and I'm gonna move the wheel a little bit too so I'm gonna move the axle out a little bit so he clears and then we clear that part I'm gonna move the wheel over a little bit so everybody lines up just nice and pretty now once I've got that I can close this and I'm gonna rotate so I can see my view okay and in this case that's about the best angle I can have for it now my trail origins um, they're automatic right now, but they don't really make a lot of sense. We like to line up with center lines. Um, we'll be showing you how to tweak those shortly, but for right now, let's leave it like that as a manual explosion. Thank you. Have a good day.